Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. It's been uh, <laughs> it's been a few days. We're playing Life is Strange over on Twitch. Of course, you can always find every playthrough we do on Twitch over here on YouTube. But we had a pretty rough start of it here with Pokemon Platinum. Gardenia, the gym leader in this town, kind of kicked our ass all up and down. <laughs> Um, but we managed, we made it through somehow and, uh, oh, right, right, right. When we left off, we were fighting Team Galactic. Okay. So that's what we'll be picking up today. Fighting old Team Galactic. Oh, I got to tell you, it felt pretty great. I, uh, I did want to mention something to you guys. I think I've, uh, I've made a huge mistake with my youtube channel and my streaming over the years and that is uh kind of discussing like personal stuff i've gotten way too personal on this channel i've talked about my medications my mentals my physical all my appointments and all i've talked too much about my medical history and while i'm not gonna just stop saying anything altogether, i think i am going to dial that back um because you know i i talk way too much about the prescriptions I'm on and what I'm working on in my head. And I, I think it's time to maybe draw some of that back and, and get back to focusing on the content that we're, um, you know, looking at here. Of course, that's the irony of being a let's player is the fact that a lot of what sells a let's play is, is the personality of the, the gamer. Because yes, yeah, sometimes people will tune in and, and strictly be there for the game that you're playing. More often times than, than not, though, they're there for the person. You know, they like the, the person streaming. Um, which is something I, I don't want to just close off and be uber private. You know, I, I want to be open and I want to talk to you guys about whatever. But I think that I need to dial it back when it comes to sharing medical information. Because I am way too much of an open book. And I talk about it way too much. And it's just... Like, I noticed it, it was starting to get on my nerves, so I have to imagine the audience is over it times 10, so. Maybe a casual mention here and there in the future, but for the most part, I'm fine right now. Everything's fine. Um, as far as the vlogs are concerned, I do want to shift with those as well and kind of shift away from talking about nonsense like that. And I want to do more of, like, traveling and recording stuff out in the world and... That's where I want to aim the future of the vlogs in that direction. Um, but we'll see. Damn it. This weasel cannot catch a break. We've been trying for several episodes now to get this weasel off the ground, but he just, or she just keeps eating shit. Um. Through no fault of her own whatsoever. Like, <laughs> we caught Weasel a little later than the others, you know? Uh, I was kind of hoping Grodel would have bite. How come Grodel doesn't have bite? Grodel usually learns bite right about the time it evolves. Uh, I can see Confusion and Psychic still did a stupid amount of damage, even in... Uh, the Sinnoh region. Alright. We'll just fight you and then go back and heal. I will go heal. Knock you out. I will. When I woke up today, the internet was out. <laughs> and I got a text from Spectrum saying, there's an outage in your area. I'm getting a message from them now. Uh, the outage that was affecting your service is now resolved. Yeah, when I left the house earlier, there was one of the big trucks around the corner uh, with a guy up in the, in the crow's nest there on the pole. And then a friend of mine that lives slam across town, like good th two, three, four miles that way, if not better, said his was out too. It's weird. I didn't know we were all on the same node. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to fight you with who I have. Do, 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 do. 
Ooh, the upgrade is used to evolve uh, Porygon. Jupiter. Jupiter. I forgot to change a setting in the stream labs. Let me change that. There we go. <laughs> I forgot to turn chat back on. On some games uh, that are very cinematic or story driven, like Life is Strange, I like to have chat come up on screen then fade away. But games like this, where we have plenty of screen down here in the corner below me, I like to have chat remain on screen um, just so people can see where the conversation's been over time. It's not too distracting when we play a game like this, you know what I mean? Dun, dun, let's fight Skuntank. Oh, Skuntank can be quite the pickle. I'll do what I can. This is where Rollout would still probably come in handy. Mm. Yet. Yeah. Get him Lux. I don't know what I'm doing wrong recently. A lot of these these Pokemon battles are catching me like off guard, feigning my entire team in one go. I I don't understand. <laughs> I didn't understand. Ooh, what I did wrong. Can't wait till we learn fly though. There it is. There's the berry. I noticed with Pokemon Platinum, a lot more Pokemon are holding berries. Fuck me. A critical hit. Yep, that'll do it. Yes, 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 yes. I have no patience to wait on you to heal me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go back and try to beat this bitch in the face. Rot in the face. Well, I can at least sell that. This way. Blue shard. Ugh. I don't bother with the shard stuff. It's too much. It's asking too much. It's too tedious. I'm not doing it. I'm so glad they dropped that and, and gave that nonsense up. You were asking way too much. 
<laughs> I don't have the patience for it. I just don't. Okay. Stupider Jupiter here. Uh, A little like she's holding in a fart. Are you holding in a fart, Jupiter? You can tell us it's okay. We won't judge. See, now that I find incredibly stupid. How does a Zubat do that much damage to a Star, a Star Avia? I can see it if I were level 2 or something, but come on. Lift that leg. <laughs> now, if I can't beat her with a full team rested and ready to go something's wrong with me on a fundamental level something is wrong in my brain I don't even get the chance to attack just fuck all right um The audacity. <laughs> I didn't get to use double team, but she gets to use smoky screen. We're going to have to do some grinding because this is ridiculous. I do not remember this being this way. Have I just gotten so soft? Because it's still going to eat a berry when I get its health down. It's going to take out Luxio, but it's paralyzed. I don't see her using a full restore, so... We've lost two Pokemon to her one here. Of course, there's poor little Weasel. Poor little Weasel. She's out here doing her best. She's getting chewed up and spit out. Well, we do win. At least Weasel will get some experience punch. Of course, it's never going to be. It's never going to lose a turn to paralysis. It's going to hit every time without fail. Just fuck me, apparently. <laughs> Never paralyzed. Not once. That's okay. I'll just burn through every potion I have. You have to miss at some point. That's just stupid. That's just stupid. It's like she's not even paralyzed. About time. Wow, that did nothing. That was a spike move right there. She could have poisoned me earlier at any time. Spite move. But there's the berry. It's going to screw me. So it's like losing an entire turn, you know? 
When they use berries to heal, it's like you, you lose a whole turn's worth of damage because they just recover. There goes Bibberl. Oh, he survived. Okay. Sadly, he did not survive the entire ordeal, but. All right, Grodel. It is literally up to you, buddy. If you faint here, we are screwed. So screwed, 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 so screwed. So screwed, so screwed. Faint already. Go. Faint. Faint your fat head. Faint your fat head. You collected energy from the Valley Windworks. Okay. Working for world peace since when? Since when, homie? You have done nothing but go around causing a ruckus. World peace. Let's see what this one says. Question not. Uh oh. That's what cult leaders tell you to do. I guess, I guess more or less every uh, antagonist team across the Pokemon games have been kind of cult. And I think that maybe, and I could be wrong about this, but maybe that's finally caught up to the consciousness of uh, Game Freak because when they did Scarlet and Violet, it wasn't like a, Ooh, an uber e secret elite team of evil doers, adult uber, uh, evil doers. No, it was a group of children who just, the bullying was involved in school. Some people laid out of school. They went off and said, you know, we'll create our own school of blackjack and hookers. Um, just forget the blackjack and the hookers. And then, uh, that was kind of the plot to the antagonist of Scarlet and Violet. It wasn't really, it really wasn't good. You know, it was kind of terrible and all over the place. You know, I um, really try my best these days to not be negative and cynical, but there are some things that just are worthy of, of you shitting on. And that was kind of one of them. Like, I didn't like the kid stuff. There's too much, too much children shit in Scarlet and Violet. And I think Game Freak at the end of the day needs to realize at this point, they have way more adults playing their games than children. Gen Z don't care about Pokemon, Game Freak. They're, they're off on their tablets doing God knows what. They're playing Minecraft, Fortnite. The people playing your Pokemon games are 40. <laughs> so, um... Might want to take that into consideration. Okay... Key items. Hang on, let me see what these dogs are barking at. I guess the game music just kept right on playing. It was supposed to pause the game. <laughs> I guess UPS was here to deliver a package and nobody else can go to the, can, you know, nobody can be fucked to go to the door other than me. 
Uh, I don't remember what we were saying or what was happening. Oh yeah, we just got our bike. Uh, all right, we have bike. We went underground. Let's talk to the guy and tell him we went underground. Because I think, just like the Safari Zone in Johto, he gives us different tasks. <sighs> hey, what's up? Check the radar for yellow spots. Go to each location, search. <clears throat> okay. Whew. It is hot. It is, uh, it is like upper 80s, lower 90 degrees here, which would be mid to upper 30 degrees Celsius. It is a scorcher today. I just went to town and, uh, I thought I was going to die in that car. Oh. One of those days where you can blast the AC. Blast her all day. Not going to matter. You're still going to die. You're still going to burn slap up. It's hot. I've got... Like, I have a remote control for my air conditioner. So when I'm sitting here at my desk, I can reach over and turn it on, off, holder, whatever. I can adjust settings with this remote. And I've got it on full blast. Oh. Okay, Explorer Kit. <clears throat> to the underground. I don't remember saving my game first. Okay. We need to search for the pings. How do I ping? Touch screen shenanigans. Oh, there's a note tucked inside Explorer Kit. Digging for treasure and spheres. Yeah, it's summer for us, and I can't wait for it to be over. It is it's so stupid hot. Ooh, a heart still. <laughs> Collapse. I'm doing pretty well. I've got... Three or four days to, to fix my sleep schedule enough to take this trip. Because um, <laughs> I woke up today at 2.30, 3 p.m. Way too late. Way too late. And um, I so now the crunch is kind of on to do something about that. Ooh, what do we have here? Earth play. That's for Arceus. That might be all we're going to find. Yeah. I think we can head on up and tell the guy that we uh, played around with the feature. <sighs> Mr. Old Man. I went underground. I tried eating out. That's it. That's my, those are my prizes. It's hardly worth my time. Right, he just wants me to find spheres. Okay, spears, spheres, spears, smears. We'll come back to him later. How's my team looking? Everybody's healed. Cynthia brought us an egg. 
I don't remember what's in it. I wanted to say Togepi, but I think it might be a, a Why Not egg. I think it's a Why Not egg, if memory serves. Which is fine. We need a Why Not. I still haven't found Wabafet yet, I don't think. Maybe I have. I'd have to go look. Okay, now we're on the bike path. Now this is a little bit different than previous bike paths, you know? We went down the cycling road in, in Kanto and whatnot, and, uh, and Hoenn. This was just kind of a short, straight shot. No turns whatsoever. I guess technically the one in Kanto is a straight shot as well. Remember the snaking bicycle path uh, in Hoenn? Oh lord, I've sent out a bird against a Pikachu. This is fantastic. That is also not what I meant to do. I spammed the A button. attack actually missed there it is I was waiting on it I'm just gonna go back and heal now. Wait, does my bike have two speeds? It does. Okay, cool. I don't remember that at all. There's a lot I don't remember. Dun 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 dun. Okay, uh, uh. Grotal, you're falling a little far behind, so I'm going to pop you up into first so that I can use you. And as much as I want to raise this weasel, we just can't make it work. Weasel just keeps fainting over and over and over and over again. So we're going to abandon weasel. Yes. <laughs> As bad as that might sound, we're just going to put her right there in the PC. Shit, I I don't know why it does that. Like I press A and it immediately lets me press A again. Alright, this is not good. This is not a good team matchup. Let's see. Luxio it is. The game throwing curveballs at me. I sent out a Pikachu and now it's sending out a Staravia. Sleepy. Wake up. 
See, in the daytime and the evenings, I'm really, really sleepy, but let it get to be 10 o'clock at night and I'm wide awake with a ton of energy. Ugh. Yeah, they did give you a why not egg, didn't they? Maybe it's Happiny. Maybe this is a Happiny egg. I, I yeah, I don't remember. Obviously, the one you get from Professor Elm uh, is a Togepi. Then it's why not in Hoenn. Yeah, so it's Happiny in in this one. Okay, yeah, that's that makes more sense. You're right. <laughs> Ponyta again with the terrible tight matchups because of course I am so glad we switched You really like that Ember attack, don't you? <laughs> How come Water Gun's not doing more damage? That is more like it. Do 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 da la 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 da da somebody's actually running and exercising in this heat you're crazy what power to you though you get it <laughs> you get that exercise in not double team a big butt well, at least it's a starly and not a star avia am i right oh nope nope not, not not that it mattered not that it mattered not that it mattered <laughs> it still did the same amount of damage Have to do a little bit of off-screen grinding i have to spam grind some uh wild pokemon because we are we are in rough shape today like we did fine until we got to uh what's her face at the grass gym from there it's just been a constant barrage of destruction <laughs> we might need to do some uh training Hmm. Hello. Cyclist John.
More Staravia? Everybody on this route is just nothing but birds. Which ordinarily I wouldn't mind. I love birds. Come on, man. I need to I need to do some grinding with Grova or uh Grodel. I can't do that if it's constant birds. You dick. Is Platinum one of the harder games? I don't know. Not that any Pokemon game is really all that difficult, you know, in the grand scheme of things. They're kind of, uh, a lot of people laugh and make fun of them saying they're push A button simulators. And I get it. I get that. But, uh, you know, it's been a long time since I sat down and played any of these older games and, um, yeah, for some reason I, I run into I run into issues. I don't know why. I don't know why. But you know, like I said, the alternative is to just grind a bunch of wild Pokemon if if need be. I know that's not particularly something that's entertaining to watch on stream, so that would probably be something I did later. Probably tonight when I had some free time. But yeah, maybe. Platinum might be one of the more difficult, which is great for our purposes, you know. Because we're just playing through the story. We're not doing like a Nuzlocke or anything. Um <laughs> Yeah. I really hope that the next Pokemon game that comes out, not excluding ZA, like Gen 10, I guess, will be up on this time. Really hoping Gen 10 has more love and care and dedication put into it because they've been slipping for a while. Each each one gets worse. I, I think the, the more notable ex exclusions to that would be, I really enjoyed Let's Go Pikachu. Of course, I always love going back to Kanto. I like being able to play Pokemon in a different style. It was nice. I know a lot of people hated it, but a lot of people hate a lot of stuff these days. It's, everybody's a negative asshole. Um, but I really did. I liked it. I did like the chibi style for uh, Diamond and Pearls remakes. I know a lot of people hated it. My only real gripe with that game is that they added nothing to the end of it. It was literally just a copy and paste of its predecessor, and that was my big complaint. Um, Sword and Shield were okay. I didn't appreciate them as much in the moment as I do now. Like My appreciation for Sword and Shield have grown over time. Um, Scarlet and Violet really just make me mad. They look awful. The story was awful. It's just really... It's got to be my least favorite. Scarlet and Violet are, are probably going to go down as my least favorites. Game Freak has just gotten too complacent with like, here's our latest product. We know you're going to buy it anyway. So we didn't work that hard on it. So yeah, they, they really need to step it up and do better. Yeah. I think the best Pokemon game that's probably come out in the last 10 years or so has probably been Legends Arceus. That game... I know there are a lot of divided opinions on Legends Arceus. Uh, it, it has its detractors, but I thought that was a damn fine, damn solid game. It did a whole lot of things different than any other Pokemon game, and I was so... had so much fun with it, you know? I loved it. And if Legends AZ or ZA is any, you know, anything like Arceus, then... Let's go! I'm have fun with that. There is a hidden cave here somewhere. I don't remember which... 
spot it's under, but I still think we need Flash to explore it anyway. Holy crap! A wrongly shaded uh, Gligar. I'm paralyzed and he hit me with a sand attack. Son of a. All right, you know what? I'm skit switch. <laughs> Bibril help me. Water gun just seems so sad. <laughs> I did not seem effective at all. As if sliding, it startles fools by clamping onto their faces, then jabs with its poison stinger. Oh God! Yeah, I gotta get some reading glasses. I am having. I, I'm looking at chat on screen. I'm looking chat down on my phone. My vision is blurry as shit. <laughs> I'm going to guess your favorite is Evital. Or is it Evital? I totally ignore your username. Yeah. I'm going to go with uh, Evital. I am planning to play through Pokemon X. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to finish Platinum. And then... Uh, when I've completely finished up Gen 4, that's when I'm going to start on uh, X. Like I said before, we're going to play Black, uh, Black and Black 2, but I can play those in their own little pocket time slot, in their own little pocket universe. Um, there's not really anything right now that's driving me to, 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 to do Black and White for the channel, other than the fact that I love Black and White. Black and White is probably my second favorite entry in the franchise after the Kanto Johto stuff. Um, but I want to take my time and really, really carefully play those games. I want to explore every nook and cranny and do everything humanly possible. Um, but I do want to kind of play Pokemon X as a tie-in for Legend ZA. Also, I did... And I, I'm trying not to repeat this too much, but new people come in from time to time. Um... Years ago, I did play through all the Pokemon games on my channel. You know, I went through red, uh, or I went through blue, silver. Uh, I think we did emerald instead of sapphire. This go around, we did sapphire. And I did eat an entry at each one. But I went back and the quality was poor. They felt rushed. My sleep apnea was undiagnosed and real bad. So a lot of times I was just kind of sitting here falling off and nodding off on stream. They were bad. They were really bad playthroughs. So they, uh, they ended up all getting scrapped. I kept my original Pokemon Blue playthrough, and then anything from Let's Go Pikachu forward also did not get scrapped. But the rest of the retro games are being redone. And um, we did Pokemon Crystal just for, uh, just for the sake of it. Um, I do want to go back one day and try and do, uh, not try, I want to go back one day and do Sapphire or silver on stream i'm just saving it for a special occasion um we're still working on soul silver kinda the only thing really left for us to do in our soul silver playthrough is just to fight red that's literally it we could go check out the pokeathlon stuff but i honestly don't think that's gonna fill up an entire stream you self-destruct 
Oh, 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 that's what happened to me when I found my first shiny. When I was playing through um, the first shiny, I can remember anyway. It feels like I might have found a shiny back in the day with gold and silver, but I don't think I did. I think I'm remembering that wrong. But when I played through Leaf Green many moons ago, hope that's not offensive yet. Hope I can still say that. I uh, I played through that so long ago, and I was in the Sevi Islands, and I ran across a shiny Geo dude. It exploded. The old butthole exploded. <sighs> yeah, I don't know where that term comes from. I've heard it all my life. But at this point, probably one of those things you can't say would be TOA-ish. Ponyta. Well, you're getting a water gun to the face. Xerneas is a beautiful Pokemon. I'm pretty excited to know what their roles are going to be in the new game. I think I'm going to do a little grinding tonight off screen and try to get my levels up if I get some free time. Again, it boils down to whether I have the time or not. Couldn't hurt. Can't believe that Geo dude exploded on us. Just out of nowhere. We could hatch our egg. Whoa. Overly sensitive deep end. We'll, we'll ride around a few laps and see if the egg hatches. I think it's pretty close to hatching. I am still working on the Pokedex for, uh, or the living decks for, uh, our Soul Silver playthrough. We ported everything from Leaf Green forward. We ported everything from Sapphire forward. So when we wrap up Soul Silver completely, I'm going to port everything forward to Platinum. Then, of course, from Platinum to Black and White, etc., etc. They'll go to. The thing is. Anything we do here on stream with these old retro games, none of these Pokemon are going to be transferable to home because I don't have any of the physical equipment anymore. We're doing all of this on emulator. And while my friend does have a hack 3DS and could port them forward, I can't in all good consciousness ask him to port forward manually. Uh, yeah, yeah. 700 and something Pokemon. I can't and I won't. That's ridiculous. So, uh, our catching Pokemon back here in these playthroughs is kind of just for fun. Now, I do have a living dex that starts with Let's Go Pikachu forward. Um, you know, there were so many Pokemon in Sword and Shield that really counted towards uh, the Pokedex. Sounds can be heard from coming inside. We're going to hatch it soon. Yeah, but I, I think I'm 90 some odd percent done with my living decks. There are a few uh, problematic Pokemon. I don't have a Celebi. I don't have a Deoxys. Those might be the only two out of the original like four generations that I don't have. Uh, I don't have Spinna because of the way that they screwed up Spinna. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, let's see how how am I going to get it is a togepi, what a waste. It should have it should have been a it should have been a, a happini. That's a waste. Whatever. The game freak just they just do whatever. There's no consistency between their games. Oh, here goes a creepy ice cream truck. When I was a kid, the ice cream truck would come around from time to time in the summer. As an adult, I look at an ice cream truck and I'm like, get the pitchforks. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, but that's just too much work for no reason. I already have, I have 90 some odd, I'm pretty much at this point, I have 99% of the Pokemon that exist. I have all the Pokemon already in Pokemon Home. I don't really need to port any of these Pokemon forward. That's what I was saying. It's kind of just for fun. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not really super emotionally attached to any of these Pokemon. It's just nice that they're kind of immoralized in the playthroughs. Um... Ooh, a Chimchar. Somebody's using, uh... Somebody's using starters. Yeah, I'm only missing a couple of Pokemon, so it's not worth, like, breaking my neck to try to go back to these older generations and port anything forward. Um, the Pokemon that are missing, I'm pretty sure will be made available in ZA and DLC for ZA. And if not, I'm pretty sure Gen 10 will kind of fill in the two or three gaps in, in my living decks. Because um, at this point, I have almost everything, you know. I'll just let you summarize it later for me. Yeah. We were talking the other day about Linkin Park. Apparently, they're not just going to retire the ban, which is, I think, ethically and morally what you should do when somebody as prolific as Chester Bennington passes away. I think you should let the ban go. Maybe rename it if you want to keep the ban going. Just, just retool it, make it another name. You know, retire the name. They retire jerseys in sports. Why not retire a band name? No, it's too much. We lose too much money. It's brand recognition. So you're putting money above a person. Cool. Love that for you. Yeah, I won't be listening to anything new Linkin Park makes. Not that I was a fan of their last few albums anyway. I already have no love loss for Mike Shinoda. I don't like him at all. I don't think he's very talented. I think the talent of that band has sadly passed away, <laughs> but um, yeah, and then he, my friend here, uh, for the rest of you guys who might be watching this, my buddy here was telling me the new person that they brought in to replace Chester, not a good person. It's the slow roll. I think it's the slow row of the van with the blinking lights and it's such a generic looking van and then the kids come running up to it and I'm like, this, this is bad optics. I don't like this. Yeah, I, I don't really see ice cream trucks this, as much these days as I did when I was a kid. And that's a shady ass looking van. It's literally just a van with some ice cream, like, decal stickers on the side, and they're all faded to shit. They look like they're 30 years old. I don't like it. Internet has ruined me. I used to be innocent. I used to not think about that kind of stuff, but... Over the years, the internet's kind of made me hyper aware of things that are considered bad optics.
Yeah, I, I gotta get some glasses. I can't read shit you're saying. My vision is blurry as hell. I can't. Chester's oldest son lets you know to have it. What do you mean, let him have it? As in, like, told him off, let him have it? Or let him have it as in gave him, like, the rights to his shit? Which one is it? Yeah, Mike Shinoda's always been a huge piece of shit. Surprise! Oh, told him off? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Scientology crap. Yeah. Yeah, if any of my friends ever came to me with, like, Scientology or anything even remotely religious, I'm going to have a stern talk with them, and they're only going to get the talk once. And if they go down that cult rabbit hole, then I can't help you. You know what I mean? Like... And Scientology is a billion times worse than religion, and that's saying something, given how much I personally have such a burning hatred for religion, for me, of all people, to say that something's worse than religion. Yes, yeah, Scientology is. <laughs> it's a giant scam. I mean, so is religion, but Scientology is dangerous. They have people killed. Eric, aren't you going to say allegedly and protect yourself? No. No, I'm not. Nope. It's like lately I keep telling people Boeing is killing. Boeing is having people murdered. It's murdering your whistleblowers. Shouldn't you say allegedly? Nope. We got the Dreamcast 25 years ago today. You posted in the Discord, what's his name passed away today? Um, I'm blanking on his name. Mufasa. <laughs> I can't remember his name. James Earl Jones. Darth Vader, Mufasa, and a ton of other voices. Um, that was sad to hear. I remember, the Dreamcast feels like it should be older than 25 years old. You know what I mean? Oh, she's giving me a handful of stuff that I don't care about. I never owned a Dreamcast. I, the only time I ever had a Dreamcast is when you and I combined our gaming collection. And even then, I never touched it because by the time I had access to a Dreamcast, all of their games had already started to be ported over or just could be emulated with with ease on the computer. So I never had need for a phys for the physical hardware of a Dreamcast. Um, back when they were newer, I'd say like not when they were new, but like before they were discontinued in stores, my cousin uh one of his first jobs he went out and bought one and uh at the time there wasn't a lot of games for it available at the store so i remember he just played the demo disc and i it had sonic adventure and a handful of other like demos on it he didn't like it so he ended up returning it and i was like oh you are you're an idiot <laughs> should have kept it that's the only experience i've ever had with the dreamcast um the GameCube was a good Dreamcast uh, machine, like 
uh, emulator machine because you had Crazy Taxi, the Sonic Adventures. A lot of a lot of Dreamcast stuff ended up on the GameCube, so. I want to catch this bronzor. Little stinker. Today's a fasting day and I feel it in my stomach. I'm so hungry. Oh, oh crap. <gasps> Not hypnosis. No, 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 no. Lent entire consoles. That's one thing I never did as a kid. Of course, I never really had friends outside of you. So I never had the opportunity to, nobody ever asked me, hey, can I borrow a game? So I never had to lend my stuff as a kid. That is, um, pretty happy about that, actually. There are researchers who believe this Pokemon reflected like a mirror in the distant past. Wow, that is so blurry. That text on screen is so blurry. Yeah, I looked into it. Apparently, my sleep apnea is affecting my vision, and I got to make an appointment to see somebody because we need to do some eye tests. If I don't, I could like permanently lose my vision. Um, I thought my vision was just being you know, was, was going out because of my age, maybe the diabetes, but no, my diabetes is very much under control. Like my blood lab work from, uh, August came back normal. Um, so I'm at this point, like I, it's controlled to the point where it's just diabetes on paper. Uh, we did a test for kidney disease. Everything came back normal. No kidney disease, no liver disease, no nothing. Everything is completely under control. The only thing health-wise that's completely out of control right now is my sleep apnea. It's affecting me the most. It is the most detriment, like it's the most danger to me right now. I did try sleeping without my CPAP machine a few nights ago, and every 10 minutes I would just wake up not breathing. Um, I, you know, so we were talking about the trip that we're going to take, and you were like, you can just sleep in the car. No, no, I can't. Because I'll keep, I'll just keep stop breathing. Like I'm gonna have to do something this week to make sure that I go to bed Thursday night and I'm up Friday morning, or else I'm gonna be miserable on that car ride down there. God damn it, I'm asleep. My weight is, uh, I'd say my weight is probably technically my most danger to me right now, even over the sleep apnea. Um, I went into Walmart last night to pick up some stuff. I was in there maybe 10, 15 minutes, 20 at the absolute most. And I was so dizzy headed. My foot was tingly and numb. Like my weight is at a critical tipping point where it's like, I need to do something drastic immediately or I'm going to die. So that's where I'm at. And I know I started this stream by saying, let's not do uh, health sh stuff anymore, but I'll just share that little snippet. So. Ooh, a nose patch. And I'm asleep. Screw it. I'll just, I'll just wait to wake up. But yeah. So I've, uh, I've taken to fasting to try to get my weight down. Um, like I had a good seven ish hours, eight hours of sleep today, but I'm still very, you know, it's not REM sleep. It's not good restorative sleep. It's, it's not, it's not the kind of sleep that you and everybody else gets. You know what I mean? It's, it's like a connect. It's like a collection of naps that are just strung together. I can't enter that REM sleep for long enough to recover. So it's, um, it's a problem. It's a problem. Damn it. Wake up, Emerald. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Water gun. Water gun. Water gun.
Ooh, cutting it close. How about we throw a Pokeball? When endangered, it may protect itself by raising its magnetism and drawing iron objects to its body. Ooh. Yeah, all the text on screen is blurry as shit for me right now. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Became because the human spirit is weak and incomplete. Strife has spread. This world is being ruined by itself. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Yes, yeah, Cyrus was very much me when I was that age. Like, um, the games say he's 28. Yeah, I was that. I was that. Of course, I've never had a high opinion of the world to begin with. I don't have a high opinion of humans to begin with. It's what I like to call the Lord of the Flies problem, but it's on a species wide scale. Like it's, you just can't win for losing, you know? It's surprising that water gun didn't take Onyx out immediately. back here fight me but like i was saying at the beginning of this episode before you guys popped into chat i think mm, i've been feeling lately like i'm sharing entirely too much medical stuff on the show so i want to dial that back and if there's something major to update you with i will but i think it attracts from what we're doing here and i think that people are sick of hearing about it i'm sick of hearing about it i'm sick of talking about it i'm sick of Nobody my age should have this much medical shit to talk about, so it's, um... I can, I can relay any piece of fucking advice to anybody out there is to take care of yourself better than I have myself. Uh, but... Oh, uh, we don't have rock climb yet. Yeah, I don't know how late into the game we get rock climb. I know for Soul Silver, it's like literally the last thing. You have to have all the badges. You have to defeat in blue at Viridian Gym. Um, and then Professor Oak, I think, gives you rock climb. I don't, I don't remember it being as annoying in Sinnoh to get rock climb. Oops. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's real easy to spam A in this game.
You're gonna be stubborn, aren't you? You're gonna make me use a hundred water guns. Okay. We at least have Rock Smash with us, so I can sit here and go get this. Rosaria! Damn. How dare you? The more healthy the rosalia, the more pleasant its flowers aroma. Its scent deeply relaxes people. Let's see what other wild Pokemon are in the area. Oh. More Rosalia. <laughs> Ralts, huh? We do need a male Ralts. For evolution. You bitch. No! You little shit! All that work. You little shit. You little shit. I can't believe he did that. Oof, and he was going. Odd keystone. Oh, yeah. For uh, Spirit Tomb. Mine Junior. Pop. Bonsley. Okay, so that I will need to switch types. Electricity's not going to work against a Bonsley. Got a lot of cute little baby Pokemon in this generation. Blue, blue. I think I can battle her. Yep. <laughs> Rosalia. Oh, she's using seals. Yeah, that was something introduced for Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Um, you could put stickers or seals on your Pokeball when you send it out. You know, confetti would shoot out. I thought it was neat. 
Wouldn't hurt my feelings any if they brought that back in future games. I liked it. It served no other purpose other than being aesthetic, but I liked it. I did. I liked it. Little combi. That's going to be one of the harder Pokemon, I think, for us to obtain for our little living decks project we're working on here with these playthroughs. Because uh, you have to put honey on the tree, and then I always end up with, the, the, you know, just Burmy and stuff. I never, ever, ever get combi. And then even when we do get a combi, it's going to be a male combi. So no Vespa Quinn for us. <sighs> Vespa Queen. I hope these berries come in handy. Oh, the berry master. Okay. Cherry berry. No, I don't need any poop. <laughs> I don't need any fertilizer. I'm good. They were really onto something with the Poketch or Poketech or whatever it's called. It's just a little smartwatch that's full of apps, really ahead of its time. Because Diamond and Pearl was 2007. I think Platinum was 2009. We've made it to Heart Home. Just much like the animals in our world, if an animal's trying to run away, it's a damn good reason. They're probably unhappy or being abused. Or they just have like a, an adventurous spirit. It's one of the few things about animals and pets that I don't care for, that aspect of them like being, for their whole life, they're just in your home, and in your care. You know what I mean? It's like, um, they don't get to live freely like they would in nature without humans. That aspect of our reality does bother me a lot. I think about I think about it constantly. There it is. A jaw needed to pop. Yeah, I do think about that a lot. People put dogs on chains and that sh that shit drives me up the wall. People have cats that never ever see the light of day outside and that drives me up the wall. These are wild living things that are meant to live outside. They have instincts, desires, hopes, and dreams. Maybe not hopes and dreams to the same extent as, as a human, but nevertheless, they feel the call of the wild like any other living thing, and to have them boxed up in a home their whole life, it's just... It bothers me. At least with Pokemon, you know, you... uh they can travel with you in Pokeballs. You can take them anywhere. But uh, animals in our world don't have that luxury. Now, the contests here in the Sinnoh region are quite different from the contests in the Hoenn region. Ooh, we get a fancy tuxedo. I did like the little tuxedo that we got to wear in this game. I am glad that Pokemon finally got around to letting you customize your characters in a way. You could choose clothing for your characters in the modern games, 
I still want to be able to choose my own avatar though, because as a 40 year old fat, bald, bearded man, I don't really feel like I'm on my own little journey playing as a 10 year old boy. We won't, we won't fool with the contest right now, but we will be diving into the contest later. Um, might end up being the same as it was while we were in Hoenn, where we just do a handful and let it roll. Because it's a lot. It really is a lot. You little shit. This is the first and only Pokemon game to have babies. You guys remember that? Look at that. Babies. Not a toddler walking around. Baby. Cannot walk on their own fetus. I haven't seen them since. Hiccups. Oh, the Pokemon know how to use the elevator? Send it to the PC box. God damn. I hated that about these old games. You don't have enough room in your party. Send it to the PC. That's what the modern games do. Little Miss, I built this PC system you're using, even though Bill is really the one who built it, but we're just, just going to pretend. I do want an Eevee though. I'll take me an Eevee. Eevee, e, 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 e. So this Eevee also came from Jodo. This Eevee came from Bill. He's just giving them away like candy over there. He gave us one too. <laughs> All right. We could uh, make this a viable part of our team. Um, maybe. It depends on how far we have to get uh, in the game before we can evolve it. This is one area of Pokemon uh, Gen 4 that always confused me because in Gold and Silver, you could just walk around with your po or Heart Gold and Soul Silver specifically. You could walk around with your Pokemon behind you, but for this game, you can only do so in this one generalized area. And I didn't understand that, and I still don't understand it. Like, what's the appeal? Unless it raises the happiness for baby Pokemon or something, I don't really know. 
It's a very selective group of Pokemon that can follow you too. But the thing is, <clears throat> if they already had that mechanic designed and they utilized it for uh, silver and gold, why not use it for all of them? I don't know. It's very confusing to me. Some of the decisions they make is why I kind of stay on their ass a lot of the times. Some jackass on threads the other day crawled up my ass about that. Somebody posted something about Pokemon Go and Niantic. Oh, it was the, the latest bundle. You have to use real world cash. You can't use in-game currency and it's like $5 and something. And all it does is give you 200 poke coins and not much else. So you're actually losing money if you buy it. And he's like, so who of you are go who out there is going to buy this bundle? Give me your thoughts in the, in, in the uh, you know, in the section below. And I, I kind of went off. I told him how much of a piece of shit Niantic is and how they're money hungry and how they ran the game into the ground. And then some, it's always one. There's always one in every, every post I ever made. There's always one jackass that shows up. Well, I hope you quit playing it then. Well, I spun their wig around. They haven't come back yet, but if they show back up, they're going to keep getting told off. You know, keep getting told and keep getting told until they just don't post anymore. You are allowed to criticize something you love. As a matter of fact, the more you love something, I think the more critical you should be about it because you want that thing to succeed. You want it to be the best it could possibly be. And a lot of times our IP suffers from being in the hands of jackasses. Now, how the hell this layout looks a lot different than it did in diamond and pearl. Oh, that's right. I need to go left and right in these things. God damn it. You're not taking me anywhere. I haven't already been. Useless. Absolutely useless. Okay, well, fuck this place. I can't, I can't get anywhere. I tried straight in, left and right. You know what, fuck it, I'm out of here. We're just wasting time with this nonsense. I hate this section of the game. I really do. It serves no purpose whatsoever. And I'm not talking to the reporter. I am just not in the mood. Okay, I guess that leaves the gym. She did come back to the gym, right? I think this gym challenge is different from the diamond and pearl version. Yeah. I think in diamond and pearl, you just answer questions on a board. This one, you actually have to walk around. Okay. All right. Well, this is where we're going to save. And this is where we'll pick back up when we come back in next time. Oh. Of course, we're going to double save as always. It just takes a while for these Gen 4 games to write data. I don't know why. Wow, that took a long time. Let's see if the second save takes as long. Nope. Interesting. Alright, well thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. See you guys back here next time.